The world's elite halfpipe snowboarders have come to Switzerland to compete at the most prestigious freestyle event in Europe, the Larks Open. Australian Scotty James and Carol Castellet from Spain both were victorious at the first halfpipe World Cup of the season in Copper Mountain. Yeah, Larks feels like home. I mean, I've come, I come and ride here all the time. It's the most amazing feeling, so what I want to do there is to do my best riding ever. But it's been a difficult day at the 2023 Larks Open. It concluded in disappointing fashion on Saturday evening, as halfpipe finals were cancelled due to the weather conditions. More than 10 years, they haven't been able to run the Larks Open pipe. But there's a first time for everything. But despite the cancellation, some riders stayed around and put on a show for the crowd who'd been waiting patiently. It's still been a great night. The call was finally to not run the finals, so I just tried to go as big as we could. Oh, you don't even think of it, I did. Put on a show for the people, and yeah, I think it was a really nice show of what snowboarding's all about tonight. With the cancellation of the halfpipe finals, the semi-final results would stand as the final results for the competition, giving 18-year-old Japanese rider Mitsuki Ono the first victory of her World Cup career. Huge a brilliant run from the young rider who put down two huge nines as her centerpiece. Her teammate Ruka Hirano opened his run with a switch backside 1080, claiming his first Larks Open win and his third World Cup victory overall. Second place for the women would go to China's Wu Xiaotong, the first career World Cup podium for the 24-year-old and a very impressive switch backside 540. Third place belonged to the USA's Maddie Mastro, as the 22-year-old earned her 10th career World Cup podium. For the men, it was Scotty James of Australia, who would earn the runners-up honours behind Hirano, sticking an impressive cab 14 in his run, enough for him to maintain his lead atop the men's half-pipe World Cup standings. It would have been awesome to compete, but um, we're all out here and we, we had a good time regardless and ended up with second, which is good. But yeah, I mean, we can carry this momentum again into the rest of the season. In third place for the men was Yuto Totsuka of Japan. As reigning halfpipe world champion, he earned his first World Cup podium in over a year. And here are the full standings of the halfpipe World Cup at the Larks Open 2023.